I've got another class after this one. Oh. So I've got to do the class tonight. So I, it is, if I do one now, it's no, it's good for me. Okay. Uh, are we, how are you going to do it though with the Chinese again? What are we going to uh, do? Because there's a lot of Chinese audience, so I will let Mother Ji speak. And then I will go in the, in the room. Okay. Uh, Guru Mani Mother Ji? Yes. Okay, Ma. Okay, Ma. You can, you can, now. You can speak here. Okay, thank you. Are you okay? How many people have you got then? Few, Guru Maharaj. Three? Uh, few, I think around three to five. Who, who are they? Who's listening? Uh, Shaya Mataji is there and her, her brother, her friend, and Durga and Punamasi Mataji. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. okay, can we share this share the screen? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay, um welcome to everyone. We're reading Nectar of Devotion. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksuran Muritanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhai Evacha Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadatar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, we're reading the preface. Oh, we're now reading the preface. Oh, we're now reading the means devotional service. Every service has some attractive feature which drives the servitor progressively on and on. Every one of us within this world is perpetually engaged in some sort of service. The impetus for such service is the pleasure we derive from it. Driven by affection for his wife and children, a family man works day and night. A philanthropist works in the same way for love of the greater family. And a nationalist will work for the cause of his country and countrymen. That that force which drives the ph philanthropist, the nationalist, and the householder is called rasa, or a kind of mellow, or relationship, whose taste is very sweet. <laughs> So this word rasa, this is a Sanskrit word, but it's very difficult to give it an exact meaning in another language. Rasa 
嗯，很难用另外一种语言把它的确切含义表达出来。So we use the Sanskrit word so that we can, can but at the same time we want you to understand the meaning of the word rasa. 所以我们会继续使用。嗯，这个 rasa 这个范文词，同时我们也希望大家明白这个词的含义。So Prabhupada is explaining to us that for every activity, you have to get some pleasure from it, otherwise you won't keep doing it. 嗯，圣帕帕德解释说，在每一个活动，呃，促使人们不断的去从事这种活动。的动力就是他们从中能得到快乐，否则他们就不会继续下去。So, 我有中文怎么选？我要进那、这个，这个可以选，我选中文，英语可以，英语英语可以。就是在看。Good, good money. You have to meet these people. <笑> Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, please uh, give the co-host. Archana, did you hear? Archana, Madaji, are you there? Recording in progress. Hey, hey, um, Hare, Hare Hare Krishna. Yeah, Archana, yeah. we want you to make somebody else a co-host. Okay, Madaji, who who are you? Uh, Sati. Uh, Sati, you can Oh, uh, okay, I I got you. Okay, I make you co-host. Yeah, yeah. Or I make you host. <laughs> Thank you. And then you mute, okay. you, you mute, mute these other people so they don't disturb us. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yes. All right. Okay, Maji, thank you. Okay. So Prabhupada is explaining to us that there has to be some pleasure in every. There has to be some pleasure from every activity. And Prabhupada gives examples about the man in family life. That he, he's working very hard, but he gets pleasure from maintaining his wife and family. And he gives another example about the people who are nationalistic, that they love their country. And then also he gives the example about the philanthropist who wants to help other people. They may not even be his own countrymen, but just people who he feels he, they need some help and he cares for them. So this is the meaning of rasa, that people are doing some activity and they're getting some pleasure from it. Rasa is that, that thing which forces us, which gets us to do this work for others. So now Prabhupada is going to explain about rasa in terms of devotional service. 
。接下来，帕帕德将要从父爱福的角度来解释 rasa。So he explains that bhakti rasa is something which is different from the ordinary rasa of ordinary in the material world. 他解释说。So now Prabhupada is going to explain the difference to us. 接下来 ，Prabhupada 将要解释这二者的区别。He explains that、uh, in ordinary materialistic people working hard every day, night, they get some kind of rasa. 他说，那些世俗的物质主义者。But that rasa is a type of sense gratification. 而那种 rasa 呢，实际上是感官享乐。And the 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 taste, the 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 pleasure which they get from that rasa does not last very long. 他们从那种 rasa 当中得到的滋味。And therefore, these kind of people, these ordinary materialistic people, they always want to change their position to enjoy in a different way. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I was being muted. Okay. okay. So, you want to hear again? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll、um, I'll speak the sentence again. You listen. Okay. So, the 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 people on the material platform, their happiness and the pleasure they get from their activities doesn't last very long. These materialists. 他们，呃，他们的这种 rasa 的体验是不持久的。And therefore, they want they want to change their their position or change their enjoyment. 所以他们要改变，不断的变化自己的地位，来获取新新鲜的呃快乐。Sometimes we see, for example, even husband and wife, they divorce each other. They think, oh no, this husband or this wife is no good. We're going to divorce, and they take a new husband. So then, probably he talks about. Papa, is, is talking. Papa, 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 is talking. The whole week. Ah, Papa De. 接着又指出商人他们连续一周的工作 But he's never. He's not satisfied working all week. 但是工作一周后就厌烦了 So when it comes to the weekend, he wants a change. 便在呃，他们便在周末想要换一种方式 And he will go to a place where he can forget about his business life. We see a lot of businessmen. They will work hard all week, and then when the weekend comes, they go off to the to the beach, to the seaside, or they go to the country. We will see this kind of situation. 那些辛辛苦苦工作了一整，呃，连续工作了好几天一周的商人们，到了周末呢，就会去海滩或者去乡下。We see in Bangkok people work in Bangkok, or and then when it comes to holiday, then they want to go home to their place in the countryside. 嗯，看到曼谷，在曼谷的时候呢。在曼谷有一些呃那些商人，他们一到了周末的，他们就会回老家。And people in Hong Kong, working in Hong Kong, they will work in the city all week, but then the weekend they want to go to the mountain or they go to the beach. 
。而在呃香港这个地方呢，呃，在城里的人、商人们，他们工作了一周之后，呃，到周末他们就会上呃去山上或者去海滩。So on the weekend, they will forget about all their business and just relax, and they think they're enjoying. 呃，这样以这种方式呢，他们到周末的时候呢，就会忘记这些生意场上的事儿，他们会放松，他们就觉得这是一种享受了。But then, when the weekend's over, then he comes back to his business again. 可是周末一过去呢，他们又重新回到了生意场。So this is the nature of material activities. You will take a position for some time, and then you want to change it. So you change back and forth. This is in Sanskrit. This is called boga tiaga. 呃，这种变来变去的状态，梵文术语称之为 boga tiaga。boga means enjoying, enjoyment。boga 的意思是享受。sense gratification。感官享乐。and tiaga is to renounce and to give up。而 tiaga 的意思是放弃、弃绝。so boga tiaga is a Where where you change? One day you want to enjoy, and then after you enjoy for some time, then you want to give it all up. Uh, boga tiaga, this is just changing and changing. They enjoy for a short time, then they give it up. Then they give it up. Then they give it up. So a living entity cannot remain either in sense enjoyment or in renunciation. 所以，生物体它们是无法处在感官享乐当中，也无法稳定的处于感呃放弃绝状态。The the we we the change is going on continually. 这种变化是呃恒常不断的持续进行着。We're not happy enjoying, and we're not happy renouncing. 在这感官享乐的时候，我们并没有感到快乐；而当我们弃绝的时候，也同样不快乐。And the reason why we cannot be happy is because we're not in our real, eternal, constitutional position. 我们之所以感到不快乐，原因就在于我们并没有处在自己构成性的地位上。So. The pleasure of the senses does not last for very long. So in Sanskrit, that is called chapala shuka. Mean chapala means flickering, and shuka means happiness. Just like a candle light flickers, sometimes it's there and sometimes it's 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 affected by the wind. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. Then it comes back. 就像有蜡烛的烛，呃，灯光，有的时候呢，蜡烛它点燃了，但有的时候它会容易受到风的影响，有的时候有有火。The happiness of this kind of enjoyment is very temporary. This kind of enjoyment is very temporary. Prabhupada gives an example. He said, just like in family life, man works very hard day and night. Prabhupada gave an example. 一个有家室的人日夜操劳。We see some people there; they work very hard. They have a job in the daytime, then they have another job in the night, and then they have another job on the weekend. 
我们看到有的人，他们他们不仅仅白天工作，他们晚上也同样在找一份工作，甚至到了周末，他们也不休息，仍然还在工作，在找一份工作。It's very difficult to be to to earn enough money to satisfy all of our desires. 要想满足我们的每一个全部愿望，这是非常难的。And here you see that in family life, the man is working, trying to give comfort to all the members of his family. 那一个有家室的人呢，日夜操劳，以便让家人过上舒适的生活。He has to give money for the wife. She's asking money. She wants money for the for the house and to feed all the family. 嗯、他要把呃养家，然后把钱呢给自己的妻子，妻子拿来拿钱来付房租，然后给全家人买菜。And then the children, they need, they, they need their education has to be paid for. They want to go to a nice school. 而孩子们呢，他们也需要受到良好的教育，也需要去上上学。And nowadays we see children, they all want to have a mobile phone. Or they want to have a kind of computer to play with. 而在当今年代呢，这些小孩子们从小，他们就有就要手机，还是要电脑。And the young girl, when she grows up, the the father has to arrange marriage for her. 而女儿呢，长大成人之后就要出嫁。That all costs money to arrange the wedding for his daughter. 呃，这个婚礼呢，呃，婚礼也是一笔不小的开开销。So there's a lot of pressure involved in serving the family members. 所以呢，要嗯、呃、满足家人，要让家人感到呃舒适，这也不是件容易的事情。So he's working very hard, and he enjoys a kind of pleasure from this. 所以这个有家室的人呢，日夜操劳，也由此感到某种快乐和满足。But all of his happiness will end with the body. As soon as the life is over, his happiness is finished. 然而，生命结束时，所有物质快乐也随着躯体即刻烟消云散。So for the atheistic people, God. Comes in the form of death. 因此，对无神论者来说，死亡就是神的代表。Because death comes and takes away everything from us. 因为死亡，死亡降临的时候呢，就把一切从我们这里都拿走了。Whatever we work hard to earn in this life, we have to leave it here. We cannot take it with us. 无论我们辛辛苦苦工作赚了些什么，啊，我们都得撒手，我们都不能带走。You may have a nice car, you may have a nice house, you work very hard to pay for them, but when you die, you cannot take them with you. 你可能有一辆豪车、豪宅，你你努力的来维系他们，可是死亡的时候你可带不走。So those people who don't believe in God. They see God in the form of death. Death is all powerful. Those who don't believe in God, they will see God in death. 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 But the devotee, they see God by devotional service. But the devotee, they see God by devotional service. But the devotee, they see God by devotional service. Very different from the atheist. This and the atheist are completely different. Yeah. With when death comes, then we have to begin a new life. We change our situation. It's like a new chapter in our life. When death comes, we have to begin a new life. We change our situation. It's like a new chapter in our life. When death comes, then we have to begin a new life. We change our situation. It's like a new chapter in our life. When death comes, then we have to begin a new life. We may take a birth in a higher form of life or in a better condition than we're in, 
or it may be in a lower condition. On the higher level, you know, there's life on the higher planets. We can take birth in the heavenly planets and be a demigod and live for a long time. And on the lower form of life, you can take birth in the lower planets, in the hellish planets, or we may take birth in the lower species of life, like an animal or a tree. Mm. So we have to understand that in every kind of activity, the results of our actions will be finished with the end of life. It doesn't matter if you're a, if you're a, a, a social worker or you may be working for your country or you may be working for the whole world. It doesn't matter. But when death comes, every, then all your work is finished. And we all know, everyone has to die. No one can get free of death. But if we understand the science of devotion, then we won't have to take birth again. We won't have to take birth in the material world anyway. We we, we want, Prabhupada wants us to understand the nature of this bhakti rasa. And this is the pleasure which we get from engaging in well, when we do devotional service for the Supreme Lord. This is a special kind of activity because this kind of activity doesn't finish with the end of life. It's eternal. Yeah, it continues forever. So it it's it 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 in Sanskrit is called Amrita, meaning it doesn't die. It exists eternally, and that's stated in all the Vedic scriptures. To give an example, in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says that if we make a little advancement in bhakti rasa, then it will save us from the greatest danger.
But it doesn't matter what kind of feeling, what kind of mood you have, or what philosophy you have. But our next life, it, it doesn't mean that in our next life we will be a human being. There's no guarantee where we will take our next birth. Our next life will be determined by the activities we do in this life. And we get a body as a result of our activities in this life. We, we should understand that within the world there is higher authorities. Just like in a country we know there's higher authorities, the government is the highest authority. So there's also a universal authority. And that authority works under the direction of the Supreme Lord. And this, this is all explained to us in the Bhagavad Gita. And also in the Srimad Bhagavatam, we learn that there's the higher authority, the government of God. And everyone takes the next body according, uh, under the direction of the uh, the. The, that authority of the Supreme. So the body which we have today is not by chance, but it's due to our past activities. Yeah, the activities we did in our last life are the cause of the, the that seen in the body we have now. So this this uh, supervision of the you know the universal government they decide what kind of body we're going to take in the future sometimes we would simply call this as destiny or even you might say our karma and we get the body, the body which is given to us is selected from the all the, the eight million four hundred thousand different forms of bodies, different kinds of living entities which are in the universe. But we didn't get to choose which body we want. Just like in the material world, you may want a job, but you, do, you don't just get to pick the job you want. You have to be qualified for it. The people who are running the company, they will decide if you're suitable, if they want you for that job. You cannot just say, I'm going to do this job. You have to be qualified. Uh, 
有可以获得这份呃这份工作。So it's not up to us to decide, but it's given to us according to our destiny. What is our qualification by our past activities? So this is not up to us to decide, but it's given to us according to our destiny. What is our qualification by our past activities? So this is not up to us to decide, but it's given to us according to our destiny. So if At, at the, if at this time, if we are engaged in the activities of Krishna consciousness, then we are guaranteed that in the next life we will get at least a human body. If we are now, uh, effectively use our body to engage in Krishna activities, we will be guaranteed that in the next life we will get at least a human body. If we Didn't get a human body, then we may have to take one of the bodies in the lower species of life to become an animal, or a plant, or a tree. So, if somebody is in doing, if he's engaged in Krishna consciousness. He may not be able to finish everything and become perfect in this life. But in his next life, he will take birth in the higher sections of human society. And there he will, it will be very easy for him to advance in Krishna consciousness. In this situation, he will be very easy to continue to advance. Just like if somebody is born in a family which is vegetarian, then it's so much easier for people to be vegetarian. 就好，嗯，好像是一个人诞生在吃素者的家庭，素食者的家庭，那么他就很容易就生下来吃素了。Or if somebody is born in a family of devotees, then it's very easy for him to become Krishna conscious. 或者是他诞生在奉献者的家庭当中，那么他培养 Krishna 之觉就容易的多了。We see some young children that they. They can play the madanga. They can play the harmonium. They can lead kirtan, and some can even give lectures. We see that some young children, age very young, can play madanga, 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 or the harmonium, or lead kirtan. Actually, some people can play the madanga, 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 Permanent, or if you like, you could say eternal. So we are in Krishna consciousness. The activities we are engaged in are eternal. When we when we actually work in bhakti rasa, then it's understood that the person is serious about studying bhakti yoga. When we are in bhakti rasa, the 之中来从事嗯，来从事奉爱服务的时候呢，就可以呃断定认定这一个人是认真的，他对于巴呃，对于巴提是非常认真的。If somebody is doing bhakti yoga, if he's engaged in the bhakti rasa or Krishna consciousness, then it will make his life auspicious. There will be like, there will be no anxieties. 倘若一个人他在巴比拉萨当中呢，维持尊主从事父爱服，他就会过上吉祥的生活，不再有各种烦恼。嗯，你不必忧虑的，把 the material problems of life。他不用担心生活当中的各种各样的物质物质问题。And he won't even be worried about liberation。
but he will be blessed with transcendental existence. His life will be on the transcendental platform. And we should understand that by doing bhakti rasa, meaning working in Krishna consciousness, he will, he's all, he will already feel liberated. He doesn't have to worry about trying to be liberated. He will already feel that like he's liberated. And even greater than liberation, when, when one works in Krishna consciousness, he can feel the attention of the Supreme Lord Krishna. He can feel that Krishna is taking care and making arrangements to help him to advance. So we see often the neophyte devotee is very eager. He wants to see Krishna or, or God. But we should understand that God cannot be seen by our own, by our ordinary material senses. But if we do devotional service, just as it's explained in this book, The Nectar of Devotion, then we will gradually get elevated from material life. We will come out of the material life and we will come to the spiritual platform. We will become purified of all of our material designations. Material designations are the different ways in which we identify with the material world and the material body. We think I'm a Chinese, or I'm an Indian, or I'm a, an American. We're thinking I'm a man, I'm a woman, I'm young, I am old. Well, these are all different designations of the the body and the and and the mind. So our mind and senses are contaminated to think in this way. This is called conditioned life. If we are doing bhakti rasa, then we will be un we can be our senses and mind will become purified. We come then we we use our mind and senses in the service of the Supreme Lord. We will be situated in the bhakti rasa life. Any activities which we do for the pleasure of Krishna, this is bhakti rasa. And we can feel the pleasure of these activities. 
eternally. And that pleasure will go on increasing more and more. Just like when we chant the holy name, that in the beginning we don't feel much pleasure, but if we keep chanting, it pleasure becomes more and more. When we, when we start to read uh, start to read the books about Krishna, that in the beginning we may find them a little difficult, but if we keep reading, gradually we will feel more and more pleasure in reading these books. Sometimes we find things like cooking and cleaning to be, oh, trouble, so much trouble to do all of But when we understand that we're doing it for Krishna, then it becomes a pleasure. So when we're doing this kind of services, working for Krishna, all these different rasas, they all, be, they, they all become eternal. In the beginning, we have to be trained according to the principles and regulations given by the Acharyas. And as we go on doing following these principles gradually, we become elevated to a more spontaneous and automatic platform. We become so we become naturally eager to want to do these activities for Krishna. We have experience in Krishna consciousness, like waking up in the morning, that in the beginning we were not accustomed to wake up very early in the morning. But gradually, we, in the beginning, we'd have a clock to wake us up, so we could wake up early and do our devotional activities. But after some time, we don't need the clock. We wake up even without the clock. So this is how our devotion naturally develops. So Srila Prabhupada explains that in this book, there's going to be 12 different kinds of rasa to be explained. Mm. And there will be, of these 12, five are primary rasas. Yeah, these five rasas that we, we live eternally in full knowledge and bliss with Krishna. The basic principle of life is that everyone has the tendency to love someone. 
，生存的一项基本原则就是每一个人、每一个生物都有爱他人的倾向。Nobody can live without loving someone else. 没有人能谁都不爱的活着。And this this tendency this this is there in every living being. This love tendency exists in every living being. Even an animal like a tiger, they have that tendency to want to love. Even like a tiger, they have that tendency to want to love. Even like a tiger, they have that tendency to want to love. Even like a tiger, they have that tendency to want to love. Even like a tiger, they have that tendency to want to love. They will, they will have cubs, and so they will take care of them. 嗯，比如说老虎，它有了幼崽的时候，它就会照顾虎崽。And it's certainly there in human beings. 人类无疑就更有爱心了。We see if the if they don't if they don't if a man or the woman don't love an, another person. Then they will love some animal, like a dog or a horse. Hmm. We can see that if a person has no one who loves him, he will love animals, even a horse. Some people, they, their love is there. They love their garden. They love their plants and flowers. Some people, they love their garden. They love their plants and flowers. Some people love their trees in the forest. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They will enjoy with the trees. Some people like the trees. They So we have to understand where should we give our love so we can actually find happiness. 那么到底爱谁才能使人人人人都感到快乐呢 ？We see it in the material world. We're taught we should love our country. We should love our family. We should love ourselves. 那么在物质世界，我们受到的教育是爱祖国。爱家庭，或者是爱自己。But nobody is taught where to give their love so that they can become really happy. 但是没有人被告知应该把这种爱倾注在谁的身上，以便获得真正的快乐。The missing point, the point which everybody has missed, is the power to love Krishna. 这种被忽视的爱的对象。So this book, the Nectar of Devotion, is going to teach us how to develop our love for Krishna. 因此，奉爱的甘露教导我们如何唤醒自己对 Krishna 原本的爱。And in that, when we develop love for Krishna, then we will enjoy blissful eternal life. 当我们唤醒了这种潜伏的爱。就能处在极乐的生活境界。Just like in the, when we when you have a a child, the young child will love his mother and father, and then he will love his brothers and sisters. 就好像一个小孩子，他就会爱他的父母，然后爱兄弟姐妹。And then he, as he grows up. He begins to love his family and, and the society and the country. 随着孩子长大成人，他逐渐的就会爱家庭，爱社会。And he may even go on to love the whole human society. 嗯，以至于他会热爱全人类。But actually, his he's still not satisfied. By loving even all all the people. But even though he loves all the people, his love is not fully satisfied. But his ability to love is not fully satisfied. His 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 love is not fully sat
He has to know, he has to understand that there is someone who is the supreme person to love. And that ability to love can only be satisfied when we give our love to the Supreme Person, Krishna. So this book, Nectar of Devotion, is going to teach us how to love Krishna in five different transcendental mellows. Our ability to love expands just like a vibration of light expands. It comes from one point and it spreads everywhere. And similarly, air also expands. But we don't know where the light ends or where the air ends. So this book, Nectar of Devotion, is going to teach us how to love every living entity perfectly. And we can do it perfectly by simply loving Krishna. We can see we have failed to create peace and harmony in the world. Even though we have created things like the United Nations, still there is no peace and harmony. So that was not the right method, creating United Nations, that's not a successful method. But Krishna consciousness is a very simple method, but you have to understand it with the proper mood, the proper intelligence. We have to learn how to perform the simple method of loving Krishna. And then by loving Krishna, then it's very easy to immediately to love every living being. Just like if you pour water on the root of a tree. Or you may supply food to the stomach. So when you pour water on the root of a tree or supply food to the stomach, it's, it, it's scientific and practical that every one of us, we experience the result. We know, we know when we eat something, then the food goes in the stomach and the energy is distributed to all the parts of the body. Or when we pour water on the root of the tree, that water nourishes all the leaves and branches in the tree. 
，那么这个能量，树木得到能量也立刻全传遍整棵大树。It's not possible to water just a part of the tree. 那么，仅仅给树的一部分浇水，这是行不通的。And it's not possible to feed just one part of the body. 给身体的一个部分喂食也行不通。Mm, but by the one switch, then just like you turn on one switch, the light comes on. The light spreads everywhere. 就好像我们按一下开关，那么这个电灯就点燃了，呃，照亮了整个房间。So this knowledge about devotional service will immediately bring light into everyone, everywhere. 那么这这门奉爱。服务的科学将会点燃每一每一个地方，每一个人。But if one, if you don't know this, then you're missing the whole purpose of life. 但是如果不明白这个方法，那么就会错失对人生意义的理解。Okay, we will stop here. 好，那我们就讲到这里。We want to ask: Is there any questions? Hari Krishna Guru Maharaj dan abad pernah beri seksi pembo objeksis okar itu sudah berpapan. Um, can you hear me, Guru Maharaj? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Um, my question is, um, if people who is not devotee but do do some um like um we we uh approach the people. Uh, during uh, Hari Nam Sankirtan, to donation something like that, um, it seems like um, they do some devotional service a little bit. And um, my question is, will they get uh, the good karma or rasa, and it will be Amrita or not? Okay. Can you understand me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 这很垃圾的问题就是说，当我们去做哈瑞纳姆斯克塔在街头派书的时候呢，我们会请求人们给一些布施。那么看上去呢，嗯，给予布施的那个人他做了一点点奉爱服务，那么他会得到好的 karma， 好的业报，或者是好的 ras， 嗯、呃，就是一种 rasa。这个这个是不是也是 amrita 永恒的呢 ？Yes, yes, the benefit is eternal. 是的，这个好处是永恒的。And they will get the opportunity to do devotional service again. 他们会得到就是再次从事奉爱服务的机会。And the advancement they made by giving something for Krishna will never be lost. 他们呃给 Krishna 一些布施，然后从中得到的这个好处进步是永远不会失去的。When they do a little service, even they make one percent advancement, then in the next life they will begin from one percent. So yes, devotion. The benefit of devotional activities is eternal. So, devotion service. But we could say that you know they didn't really have any understanding. They didn't know what they were doing when they gave donation. But we can also say that when they gave donation, they didn't understand what they were doing. But we can also say that when they gave donation, they didn't understand what they were doing. But we can also say that when they gave donation, they didn't understand what they were doing. But we can also say that when they gave donation, they didn't understand what they were doing. But we can also say that when they gave donation, they didn't understand what they They get the, what is this is called agyata sukriti. They will get the opportunity to have more association with devotees, 
and to again do more devotional service. Just like somebody buys a book, then you may go to him again to buy another book after some time. And after some time, he buys many books, and then he starts to think, I should read these books. I bought so many books, I should read them. Or he may think that I bought these books, I should go and see what they're doing, I should go to the temple. And because he bought a book, then after some time a devotee may think I should give him some prasada. Devotees used to, used to distribute books in New York City in a place called the Port Authority Bus Terminal. It's a big bus station, and buses going all over America. And so there, there was also a subway in the bottom, an, an underground train station in the bottom of the bus station. And so many people used to come through there every day. Some people would come through every day, go to work, go home at night, and they'd come through there. So we used to go, go there to distribute books to people. And when we met somebody who is really nice and they like the devotees, they're friendly, then we would give them some prasadam. And sometimes the people would come and they, they'd come and say, have you got any prasadam today? Mm, in this way, gradually, you can see people that they, they become more and more devoted. So devotional service is like that. It's eternal benefit. It may happen in this life, it may not happen until the next life, but they never lose the benefit. It's always there. Hare Krishna. Um, Guru Maharaj, um, I, I need to ask more a little bit um, about like devotional service, like we, we do some donation in devotional service and is how different to donation in Buddhism? Guru Maharaj. And, and my question is, if 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 the people um, donation in uh, Buddhism is not uh, eternal, right? Yes. Uh, it's different. Okay. Because okay. in Buddhism, yes, in Buddhism they may also give donation, they give charity. But they do it for a material purpose. You see, they're not doing it for Krishna. Um, okay. They're not doing it for the benefit of the Supreme Lord. They're just doing it for a material, ma just to help somebody materially. They, do they don't think about somebody's spiritual position. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, thank you for your explanation. Um, nowadays, I I try to um like invite the people to to donation or do some devotional service activity, something like that. Uh -huh. Even my friend. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, it's good. Try to. Jim. Alajitavan 这马大姐，她说她，因为她现在呢，她在有邀请人们，呃，来做布施，呃，从事一些封建服务，甚至邀请她的朋友们做一些布施。嗯。Yes, there's different kinds of charity described in the Bhagavad Gita. 布施范哥当中讲了有不同种类的布施。Charity, you may give charity maybe in the mode of goodness, like in Buddhism it may be in the mode of goodness, but it's material, it's going to bring some material result. So you have, they have to, they will enjoy the good karma. 嗯，他们会享受自己的那个好的业报。But a devotee is giving charity, is giving it for the service of Krishna. 而奉献者们是为了 Krishna 来布施。Actually, devotee understands everything belongs to Krishna. Nothing is mine. It's all Krishna's. 奉献者们他们明白，实际上一切是属于 Krishna 的，没有什么是属于我的。I just want to give it back to Krishna. It's all His. Oh,我只是把它还给Krishna而已。但是因为本来它就是属于Krishna的。嗯。Hare Krishna. 请问奉爱的甘露所说的Rasa和人们常说的爱众生有什么不同？爱Krishna和爱众生的Rasa的区别？感恩Gurudeva。嗯，What's the difference? 呃，Hare Krishna obeisance Gurudev，呃，the Rasa mentioned in the nectar of devotion，What's the difference between this and commonly？ and usually when people mention that we should love all living entity so what's the difference between love krishna and love the rasa of loving love krishna and love all living entity well the difference is that how many living entities can you love? How many living entities are you connected with and how many can you actually show love to? Can you, can you honestly say that you can connect with all the living entities and show them love? Not possible. Just, just like some people may say, I am the servant of everyone. Really? How many people can you serve? 
。真的吗？你能服务几个多少人呢？ How many people is it possible to serve? Our, our service is limited. Because you're giving it to material, to limited, to a limited bit. You're saying you want to love everyone or you want to serve everyone, but you're not connected to everyone. You don't know everyone. You haven't got relationships with everyone. 那么我们说说是要爱每个生物，但是你跟这些生物并没有连接，你也不认识这些生物，你跟这些生物没有什么关系。But Krishna is there. Krishna, as a person, is in the heart of all living entities. 但是 Krishna 在那里。Krishna 他作为一个人，他在所有生物的内心。And we can. Show our love for Krishna. We can show Krishna our love. And by loving Krishna, then you can satisfy all living entities. Through loving Krishna, you can satisfy all living entities. But if you try to love everyone without connecting to Krishna, you can't do it. You don't have a connection to everyone and everything. But you can have a connection to Krishna, and Krishna can connect to all living entities. 但是你可以跟 Krishna 有个连接，而 Krishna 和所有众生是有连接的。It's an important point to understand. 嗯，所以这一点是非常重要的，需要去理解。Yes, you have asked a very nice question. It's a very good point to bring up. 嗯，您这个问题问的特别好。Try to understand the difference. How? By serving Krishna, we can actually satisfy everyone. So, you need to understand this difference. Through serving Krishna, we can satisfy all living things. We gave the example about watering the plant. We pour the water on the root, and by that, by by giving the water to the root, all the leaves and branches are satisfied. 我们举举一个例子，就好像给一个植物浇水。倘若我们给这个根部浇水的话，那么枝枝叶叶都得到了滋养。Can we just water each leaf independently of the root? Could you water each of the branches without watering the root? 你能不能不给不给树根浇水，只是给每一片叶子浇水？而且不给不给树根浇水，给一个每一个枝干浇水呢 ？Or can you feed the arm and then feed the leg and then feed the 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 chest and feed feed the head? Can you feed the different parts of the body independently of the stomach? 呃，你能不能就是独立于胃部，单独的给胳膊，就是臂膀？呃，食物单独的给这个腿部食物，单独的给这个胸部食物。So you have to understand that Krishna is the root of the whole creation of all living entities. So you need to understand that Krishna is the root of the whole creation of all living entities. He is the root of the whole creation of all living entities. And Krishna is the stomach, like the stomach of the universal body. Krishna is like the universe. We are all parts of the universal body, but Krishna is the stomach. We are all parts of the universal body, but Krishna is the stomach. And he is the stomach. And he is distributing the energy to everyone. He is distributing the energy to everyone. He is distributing the energy to everyone. Okay. Any other question there? Yes, Janaka Prabhu. Janaka Prabhu. 
Hare Krishna， 顶拜 Guru Dev 的莲花祖，顶拜奉戒者。请问 Guru Dev， 当人处在 Bhakti Rasa 中，是不是还是会受其他 Rasa 的影响呢？因为生活在这个物质世界，生活在某个国家，没有办法不受影响。就像乌克兰和俄罗斯的奉献者都深入战争的影响，怎么办呢？This is the result of forgetting Krishna because we forget our rasa with Krishna, so therefore these problems come about. This is because we forget Krishna, forget our rasa with Krishna, so therefore these problems come about. Yeah, the war is about one man is thinking I'm a Russian, the other man is thinking I'm a Ukrainian, and they're fighting with each other. 战争的打起来，就是因为一个人认为我是俄罗斯人，另一个人认为我是乌克兰人，所以他们就争斗起来了。Actually, they're brothers. They're from the same family, but they're fighting with each other. 实际上，他们是兄弟，他们都出自同一个同同一个家庭，但他们现在却在彼此斗争。It is the cause of it is caused by their forgetfulness of their eternal relationship with Krishna. All right. Any other question? Uh, Sorry. Uh, yes, please. You you first. <laughs> Thank you, Mamatji. Hare Krishna, Gurudev. Please accept humble obeisances. All glories to Sri Lopat, you Gurudev, and the devotees of God. Gurudev, I want to ask regarding charity. Should a person、um, give charity who's not a devotee, just being asked to give a charity,、uh, say a donation? To progress in Krishna consciousness for helping to move forward, and、uh, for them, all the lords, all the gods are equal. I mean, that's their mentality. But so, should it be counted in shuddha sattva? I mean, you know, or、uh, just a good karma? What will it be looked at as? Ah, this Mahaji's question is, um, is, uh. 在泰国有，他们都是多神论，然后有时候他们也会请求找我们来寻求布施。那么，呃，给这样的非奉献者布施，嗯、呃，他他是会有什么样的呃后果呢 ？Yes, if we give money to people who are not devotees, then that's charity in the mode of ignorance, maybe, because. The, the people who are not devotees, you have to consider. First of all, you have to consider what is the motivation in giving charity. Why are they giving money to somebody? Are they doing it to get their own name and fame to be known as a charitable person? Oh, good day. What I was wait, asking. Wait, wait, Nidangisha.、Uh, Let her translate. Sorry. Yeah, sorry.、Mm. Are they are they devo、uh, donate or being devo donated? Are they giving donations? What is the motivation for them giving charity? Okay, 那么那么这那可能翻译错了，一开始就是这些人他们是给予不是，呃呃，如果是好的 ，sorry， 嗯，一点
呃，就是给非奉献者，呃，给非奉献者布施，那么是他是愚昧形态的布施。呃，我们还要看那个他的动机是什么。Somebody who's not a devotee, you don't know. They may be in the mode of ignorance, but they may also be more in the mode of goodness. You don't. We cannot say they're all in the mode of ignorance. That's maybe not correct. 一个非非奉献者，他有可能是处于愚昧形态的，也有可能更呃，就更更处在善良形态当中，所以就不能一概而论，就是。But they must be on the material platform. Because they're not devotees, they cannot transcend the material energy. Thank you, Gurudev. Gurudev, what I was actually asking is if should they give a donation to Iskon, for example, would it be looked at as in Shuddha Sattva and Lord Krishna's accounts or just good karma? Just good karma, simple. Hmm. Generally, we would just consider it as sukriti, material pious activity. Mm. But that ma material pious activity can be a, an impetus that can lead one to devotional service. Mm. 但是这种物质的虔诚活动呢，很有可能会导致人一个人呢去从事奉爱服务。Yeah, they did it and they gave charity without knowing that it's going for a spiritual purpose or without understanding any spiritual benefit. 呃，他们在不知情的情况下呢，给一个灵性的目标做了布施，然后会导致一个灵性的好处。What if they do have the understanding, Gurudev? They do understand and they appreciate it. And then if they give it as a charity? Well, if they know, then we can consider it's actually devotional service. Mm. 知情的，那么可以就认为是属于奉爱服务了。But it may not be pure devotional service. 但不是纯粹的奉爱服务。We don't know. It may be. It may not. 嗯。所以我们也不能不知道，也许是，也许不是。You have to consider why are they giving the donation? What's their are they giving just simply because of you, because you're their relative? Mm. So that's not pure devotion. But there's some mixed devotion there. Because they know you're a devotee and they think, well, anyway, it's for her temple. So there's some tinge of devotion there. So it's more like karma yoga. Actually, Gurudev, my students were asking me on Zoom on Sunday, and I told them that if it's purely given to, you know, favorably serve the Lord, then it could be considered as Shuddha Sattva, but that is if it's purely given for serving the Lord, knowing that He's the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And otherwise, it's just good karma. So I just, I wasn't sure yet. I was feeling a bit, you know, 
So then they're just newcomers to Krishna consciousness. So I didn't know if that would have been the correct way to put it across to them. Okay. Anyway, as you like, mm. engage them, let them do some service. If they're mm. give, giving something for the service of Krishna, it's good. Very purifying. Mm. Mm, definitely. Mm. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you. Madachi Yes. Mm What's more, uh, what's better than liberation is that sometimes devotee will feel that Krishna is taking care of him, is arranging his life. But those Buddhists, Buddhists sometimes uh, they donate and they worship the Buddha and they also feel being cared for. So what's the difference? Uh, between the, the feeling of um, taken care of by the Buddhists and devotees? Well, the difference is that devotee always wants to serve Krishna eternally. But the Buddhist, he wants to become Buddha. Yes. The next one? Yeah. The next one? Yeah. The next one? Yeah. The Yashoda被称作宇宙之母,被Vaki跟Yashoda是什么关系? Uh, Mata is the incarnation of Yashoda, and Yashoda is called the mother of the universe. And what's the, what's the relationship between Devaki and Yashoda? Oh, Devaki is on a different level from Yashoda. Yashoda is Krishna's mother in Vrindavan. Devaki is Krishna's mother outside Vrindavan. Just like if you go to Dwarka or Mathura, then Vasudeva and Devaki is there. Devaki is Krishna's mother. 就好像去Dwarka或者是Mathura,那时候呢,你就会发现Devaki在那里,他作为Krishna的母亲。But in Vrindavan, Mother Yashoda is Krishna's mother. 但是在Vrindavan, Yashoda是Krishna的妈妈。Mother Yashoda can only see Krishna as her child. But Devaki, she sees Krishna as God and she offers prayers to him. 
She saw Krishna at the time of his birth. She saw him in the forearm form as Lord Narayan. So Mother Yashoda is on a much higher position. She's on a higher position than Devaki. But they're both very pure devotees. They're both very, very advanced devotees. Okay, yeah. She's uh, asking, so what kind of a family is uh, uh, Nilambara Chakravati's family? What kind of family? The Brahmanas. He's a Brahmana. He was an astrologer. He was the father of Sachimata. Yeah. Anything else? She's uh, asking. Nitya Sita, Leave me entity. She's asking about what is the meaning of a Nitya Sita living entity? The meaning is that they are eternally liberated souls. They never forget Krishna. And sometimes they come here into this world and take part in Krishna's pastimes. They come with Krishna as his devotees. Just like the gopis and the cowherd boys in Krishna's pastimes, they're all Nitya Siddha. And Mother Yashoda and Devaki, they're also Nitya Siddha. Okay, how you went to? Okay, no, no more. Oh, you say thank you, thank you. A visit to your lotus feet. Thank you for your guidance. Okay, so we'll stop here today. Thank you very much, Guru Mani Madhiji, and thank Archana. And thank all the devotees for participation, for questions and listening. Hare Krishna, take care, stay healthy. Hope to see you again. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Go back to Hare Krishna. Hare Bo. Krishna.
Hey, Bo. Uh, so, so sorry, Maharaj. I, I, I mean to call Sati. 